Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here for Thirsty Affiliates, the WordPress plugin that helps you do affiliate marketing and manage your links and grow your affiliate marketing business. So today I wanted to do a really quick video on a question we've had a couple of times uh, in the last few weeks, which is about internal linking and using a, a plugin like ours and the features that it's got, such as auto linking, to link to internal posts. So you might on your website have a collection of, of blog posts or articles and one of them might be something that you're really pushing and it's like a, like a money page or something like that, some page that actually generates a lot of income for you. Now what you can do is set up keywords throughout your site to then link back to your money page. And a lot of people are doing this um, throughout their content and it's a really, really great way to uh, increase the visibility of the, your money pages. So the way you would do this in Thirsty Affiliates is to use the auto linker, but that actually introduces a little bit of a problem because with the auto linker, it will actually cloak the links. So you can already see where this is going, right? It'll do a 301 redirect to that cloaked link and then go over to the page. And because that's an internal, uh, an internal link, that's not the ideal kind of scenario for SEO. So what you actually really wanna do is use a few of our features in combination. So um, if you look on the screen here, I've got a, a little demo site here and I've just created a few blog posts. So I've got an important blog post. So this would be an example of the money page that I'm trying to promote. And then I have another couple of posts here which are just random blog posts, things that you know might get a bit of traffic and I wanna send people from those blog posts over to my money pages. So let's have a look on the back end here. This is the important blog post here. And you know, that, that might be something, you could even use a landing page or anything that you like in, the, in here. Uh, and here are the two other posts. So let's go and have a quick look in Thirsty Affiliates. So I've got a few just sample links and stuff in here. Um, but what I want to do first is create an affiliate link. And I'm going to call this um, important post. And the destination URL of this affiliate link is going to be the important blog post URL. So I'll just grab that link there and I'll paste that into my destination URL. So this is now linking the affiliate link to this destination URL. And if I hit save on this and we, um, we visit, visit the, uh, the cloaked URL, you can see it's cloaked there. And then when it, it goes through the redirect and it visits that important blog post. So the affiliate link is working. Now, this isn't strictly like an, an affiliate link as such, but we're, we're basically using the, the features in Thirsty Affiliates to achieve the goal of that internal SEO linking. Um, now, the next step here is to leverage something that is called the uncloaker. So I've done a few posts and uh, a, a video, which I'll link up in the, in the show notes down the bottom here if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, which is about our uncloaker feature. So the uncloaker is a module in Thirsty Affiliates um, which lets you basically uncloak links. So uh, lets you uncloak specific links on your site, replaces the cloaked URL that you see on the front end with the actual destination URL. And now it's important to use this uh, with some affiliate programs such as Amazon Associates. Amazon Associates are really strict about redirects and hiding your, your links to Amazon behind a redirect. So this feature was built originally with the, the intent to make it um, compatible with those terms of service that you find in, in programs such as Amazon Associates. So let's, uh, let's see this, this uh, in action. Let's insert our affiliate link into a blog post. Now I've just picked the another post here. I'm going to grab my affiliate link, important post, and let's just update that. Uh, 
and I'll open this up on the front end so you can see. So we're doing this step by step. We've, we've got the link inserted into the post. So you can see that this, this particular link, if we inspect this here, you can see that this link actually links to the cloaked URL. So what we want to do now is uncloak this particular link. So if we go back to the, where are we? Let's go back to the, uh, the affiliate link edit screen for that particular link. So here's our important post link. Now there's two ways you can do this. Either you can uncloak it directly in the link and that's by using this setting over here. So uncloak link. Uh, globally, I've set that to no, so it doesn't uncloak any links unless you actually tell it to. So if I change that to yes there and save the link, let's go back to our, our blog post on the front end and just refresh. Uh, let's have a look at this link now. So you can actually see it's not actually linking to the cloaked URL anymore. It's linking directly to the blog post. So if I was to click on that, it would link directly there. So now you might be wondering, um, do I need to do this for every single link? Um, and the answer is no, you don't. What you can do instead is create a new link category. And I'm going to call this link uh, internal. I'm got, sorry, this link category, I'm gonna call it internal. I hope I could spell internal. And I'll add that category there. And what you can do, instead of setting this per link, you can actually come into the, the Thirsty Affiliate settings here, go to link appearance, and then all the way down the bottom here, you'll see a setting called select category to uncloak. And if you don't see this setting, it means you haven't got the uncloaker module enabled, in which case you just go to modules, enable that module and it will show up there. And what this does is uh, any link that it finds that belongs to any of these categories, it's going to uncloak those links automatically on the front end. So you can then go through your posts and link up to your, your, your money page or whatever you, you need to do or Amazon links or whatever, keep them cloaked in your actual blog post and then on the front end, it will uncloak those links for you. Um, automatically, you don't even need to set that little setting on the right. So that's that's step one to, to automating this. Let's go back and have a have another look. We'll go. Let's go into this um, this affiliate link again, and I'm just going to change this to global. So I'm 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 removing the the individual link option there. So it will fall back to using the category. And I also need to make sure that I've selected the category here that I want as the link category. So let me, um, let me just save this. And we'll go back to our blog post here again. And let me just hit refresh. And what we should see here is that the link is still uncloaked. So there we go. So it's still linking directly to that important blog post post directly rather than going via the, uh, the, re the redirect, which is what we don't want for internal links. <clears throat> now there's another step to, to automating this as well. And what I'm going to do is just remove this link here. I'm going to break that link. So I'll save this as just a standard bit of text. Let's refresh this on the front end. So you can see that this text is now no longer linked. And I'm going to also link up, where was my other post here? So this is another, another post that I've got here. And I'm just gonna in, insert some, some text there, important post, important post. And let's update that as well. Just open that up on the front end. So we've got both our blog posts there. So we've got the another post with important post in it. We've got a less important post with 
uh, a couple of references to important post and where was it here important post and now what we're going to do is leverage another feature of thirsty affiliates which is called the auto linker now if you haven't used this this is going to absolutely blow your mind um, what you can do is put in any keyword here and whenever it finds that keyword in your content it will link it up and there's a bunch of settings here that you can use to, to change the way that behaves as well but that's literally all you need to do to, to link up potentially you know, hundreds of, of blog posts um, and hundreds of, of bits of content throughout your, your website all the way back to one link, one affiliate link, or in this case, one internal link. So we're linking up the keyword important post and that's all I need to do. If I go back to this another post part, you'll now see that this is linked up and if I go to a less important post here, you can see those references to important posts were linked up as well. So let me just inspect this too. And we'll see if this is linked up. So this is the one here. And you can see this is automatically uncloak the link because that link, remember that link belongs to the internal uh, link category, which means the uncloaker is going to uncloak those links and the auto linker has automatically linked up any references to that keyword. So you can see how powerful this, this gets when you combine all of those features together. You can start um, putting more traffic throughout your, your blog towards your money pages and this is a really great hack for being able to um, you know, boost the, the visibility of those, those blog posts, um, any important posts, any important pages or landing pages or whatever you need to send traffic to. So I hope this little hack, uh, this little tip has been um, useful for you and that you can use it in your business, in your website and make a lot of money with it.